<laughs> Gaffer seems a while since we chatted post Barrow, post Fleetwood, two good wins of course, looking forward to getting back at it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, feels like an age ago. Uh, but yeah, the players had some recovery last week and, and have trained really well this week. They seem in a, a really good place. And yeah, we're, we're looking forward to Friday getting back in front of our home fans and, and putting on a performance. Yeah, Friday night football, something a little bit different in some ways. Yeah. It's a midweek game again under the lights, but it's something slightly different. Yeah, I, look, I love the atmosphere on night games, Friday night lights and all that. We. We're ready, yeah. The atmosphere is always great on these evening fixtures. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll prepare as we always do. Um, I'm looking forward to a really good game against a good opponent. Absolutely. Just quickly before we look at the, the game, personnel-wise, yeah. Kyle picked up that knock before the little mini break. How's Kyle Dempsey? Yeah, we had it scanned. Uh, he's got a grade two tear of one of his ankle ligaments, layman's terms, three to four weeks. Um, disappointing for him because we felt like he was starting to, to get up to the form that we know he can show. But he'll be back. Um, he's determined. He's got his head firmly set on being back for Christmas period. And yeah, we're looking forward to having him back. Almost a clean bill of health apart from that. Just Lloyd, the only other one missing. Yeah, just Lloyd. Everyone else is back. Williamson's back training today. This weekend may come too early for him. Probably needs some more training time. But other than that, I think everyone's fit and ready to go. No, December's not too hectic. January, a lot of games coming up. Traditionally an important part of the season. It's so nice to be going in with a, with a strong hand. Yeah, I mean, it feels like this season's been going on forever and we're not even halfway there yet. So there's lots of points to be played for. Um, we feel like we've made a solid start. Um, we feel there's more to come. We think we're still slightly underachieving performance-wise from where we believe we can get to but we've still managed to gain some some good results of late and yeah concentrating on having a really good December that can set you up for the rest of the season and historically my team seem to finish seasons pretty strongly so hopefully we're in a, a good position to kick on. After a sticky fortnight, 10 days, I think that's all it was at the start of October, you, the momentum's been building again, you, you got yourself on a decent little run obviously, you're keen to carry that on. Yeah I mean I think we've, we've taken well, on average two points a game from the last six games which you know, his promotion form, if you maintain that for the whole season. Um, we know some performances haven't been great, but we know we've still managed to gain some results um, around that. And then we thought, you know, Fleetwood in particular, I thought second half we were excellent. I thought we dominated the game, showed some real good signs of being back to our very best. Hopefully that will continue this Friday. And I know you left it late at Fleetwood, but lots of chances. He scored three against Barrow. It feels like the cutting edge is coming back as well. Well, we hope so, because we, we could certainly do with it, especially the amount of chances we've created. But no, look, it's a process, really, and, and just keep doing the right things, keep getting ourselves in the right positions, and eventually we hope that it will turn for us. We think we've got some really good players, especially at the top end of the pitch, and we'll keep trying to work hard with them, both with the confidence levels and you know the technical level uh, to get them where we want them to be in terms of goal scoring. But as I said, that on a whole, I think the team's been functioning quite well. Bristol Rovers, of course, will be another side that come and won't want to make it easy for you. That's no. the, the nature of the beast in, in every division, of course, and they'll be smart enough to have a bit of a, a, a cup upset, so uh, another tough night on the cards. Yeah, I mean, I think they've accounted, they give, sorry, they give a great account of themselves so far this season. We know all too well that being a newly promoted team in this division is, is really challenging and difficult. This is a good league, um, some really big, strong teams in this league, and I think they've, they've been a credit, really, to the division so far. The, they carry some real good attacking threats and, and Joey is a winner and he'll be smart enough to Sunday and certainly will have them highly motivated to, to play us on Friday. But for us it's it's a process as I said and we have to focus on our, our own performance levels and if we get to the levels that I believe we can get to then it gives us a good chance of winning yeah. the game. Because the home form is good still, I mean, you know, last turn of the year onwards it was almost invincible. You've had a couple of home defeats here, but on the whole you're still very, very strong here and supporters get behind you and as you say on a Friday night, it's more made up for the night. Yeah, exactly that. We just want to make it, you know, a real intense atmosphere, make it difficult for them. Uh, so this is our house, this is our home and we want to, to make sure that no one comes here and, and burgles the three points, um, concentrate on our own performance levels, execute the game plan and hopefully that's enough. And lastly, a bit of personal news, you'll have Sam Hurd alongside you on the bench as per a interest from York City there, but yeah. Sam's with us, which is good news. Yeah, look, Sam was approached by York um, and he politely declined their approach. He's very happy here, very happy at being a part of this football club. 
and it's it's good for me you know to have people trying to approach and take my staff it means they're doing things right we're doing things right i have a fantastic team behind me you know sam peter lewis matt matt jamie just to name a few you know we've got a real good team of staff it's a huge team effort i'm really fortunate to be the face of the football department but i have some great staff behind me that you know make this club function and tick along on a daily basis so Delighted that Sam's staying, and I don't think it will be the only um, challenge that comes from afar for one of my members of staff. But again, that speaks volumes for the good work we're doing here. It's actually like you build a team off the pitch as much as you build a team on it, don't you? I know a lot of you guys have been together, had success together at Barrow, then here as well. So it's important. Yeah, I mean, it speaks volumes for what we're, we're, we're doing here, um, what we've created. Uh, it's a brilliant culture from top to bottom starts with the owner and the board and, and it filters down to the senior management team and, and the rest of the staff I think it's a good place to be a good place to work and we love being at this football club so long may that continue